So we had Freescale Technology Forum here. What are you showing? Hello, uh, my name is Rogelio Gonzalez. Um, I'm an applications engineer for Freescale. Uh, basically what we have here is different demos that showcase will be the touch sensing software suite in different parts of the MCU portfolio using the same library. In this case, we have a simple appliance type user interface. Basically uses an SO8 8-bit microcontroller, which is the LH64. So we have a really simple uh, overlay with capacitive fill, basically with the electrodes. So what you have here is basically just a really easy, uh, simple to clean, um, straightforward appliance type user interface with touch sensing. Touch on the screen. Now in this case you cannot touch the screen, but there's, if you wanted to implement touch sensing on the screen, you could do low resolution ITO type, which would be similar to having the electrodes right around the user interface. Okay. This is a similar demo like the one we have here, just different layout. The nice thing about this demo, and someone took my tool, my interesting tool away, in this case I'm going to use a key, mm -hmm. right? So the main difference between the two demos is that in this case, if you press with this, it's not going to do anything. Yeah. I don't know if you've noticed, but when someone touches something that's touch sensing and it doesn't work, they tend to press harder, right? I mean, yeah. that won't help anyway. But in this case, this is a metal over cap type solution, so you can actually press it with any material, right? Because you're actually getting the feedback from the pressure, but it's still capacitive type sensing. It's still uh, capacitive. Right. So it's both capacitive and something else right? at the same time. Yeah, because you're actually detecting in between the electrode that will be the shielding will be doing some sort of pressure sensing. So it's more proximity with cap sense. Okay. And this is the final one that we have, which will be the noisiest electrical noise that you can get in the system by itself. Okay. So we have an induction oven that's working with a Fire Plus system that has a TSI module. So the lower layer of the of the touch engine is more robust. Okay, so basically, if we turn it on, and just so once you see the steam, you're gonna uh, believe me that it's on. <laughs> um, what you'd normally see in a system like this, which wouldn't have the robustness, you start seeing spurious detects and false touches, and the user experience uh, will be impacted because you probably need to add additional filters. In this case, no buttons are going on. We're still able to get good response out of the system. This steam. And that's the steam thing. Okay. Alright, so... Uh... So either if you use either GPIO methods or the TSI module, you can use the same extrinsic touch sensing software 2.5, which is the latest version we have released. And you're able to enable a lot of different touch sensing applications with Freescale Portfolio. And the software goes, where does it store and where does it go? It's a library that goes into the, the memory of the microcontroller. You can download it free, free from the web and use it in any, any application that you want to implement this type of user interface.